Hello YouTube. Uh, quick intro video here. Uh, I've got too many projects going on, as you can see. Uh, but I wanted to do a video and an accompanying uh, slideshow of a camera I decided to put in front of a few other projects. This one, as you can see, has a broken eyepiece. Uh, my pointer. Right here. That's the metal casting where there should be one of these. It's been broken off. Uh, so I'm going to replace that. And to, in order to replace that, I've got to re remove this whole assembly here. This started out as a um, working uh, black Spotmatic. I was going to take, but that. The, the black body pieces looked like crap, so I was going to replace them with some good-looking black Spotmatic pieces that I have that come from a non-working camera. However, the non-working camera was so badly rusted I couldn't get the screws out. So it's going to be a silver Spotmatic, uh, but i got to do this stuff first. And uh, the slideshow that goes with this is going to be what it takes to do. I've already taken the top off, as you can see. Uh, that's covered in other videos, and it's everywhere on the net, anyhow. Um, so, at this point, we're working on getting the prism off, getting the sensors out, and this is your... I don't know what you call it. It's, it's the, the needle you see inside the viewfinder. Uh, this is what works it. And I've got to get that all apart without damaging it. And then sneak in the new frame with the good eyepiece. And then reassemble it. So, wish me luck.
Okay, and there you have it. <clears throat> uh, this is the Spotmatic reassembled. Uh, I changed out the upper prism, all the related parts. <clears throat> um, changed out this. Uh, did not change out the circuit board, but I changed out the prism um, and swapped back and forth. I put the old parts back on his donor camera just so it would be a complete example. Um, and this is it. Now, it's not the prettiest uh, example of a Spotmatic I ever came across, and I didn't have a decent bottom, so it still has its beat-up black bottom. And when I got it together, I put the battery in it, because those batteries are still available, uh, in a different form, and a modestly different voltage. Um, it didn't work, which was not terribly unexpected, uh, although disappointing. However, it was at that point that I decided I was going to try and, and change the bottom. I didn't have one. I took the bottom apart. And while it was apart, I went ahead and I took some naphtha and I cleaned up. Uh, let's see if I have an example here. Now, this is a bad example, but it, it'll do. I took... I took, as I said, I took some naphtha and I cleaned up uh, the contactor here, which mates up with the battery box on the bottom of the, cam on the, the camera bottom. Matches up with that. I also cleaned uh, the battery box contact, which isn't shown here because I don't have a bottom that's in one piece out on the table. Uh, I cleaned that up. Cleaned this contact up, cleaned the inside of the battery box, also with naphtha, and by golly, the, the meter now works. Now, I don't know if the ac meter is accurate or not, um, and I probably won't know because I have so many of these, and I use so few, I might never get around to shooting film with this, although I, I would really like to because this, is, this was kind of a, a deep project for me. It's not the deepest yet. Uh, I've still got... As you can see here, the shutter curtains, uh, the newly made shutter curtains in process. But I thought I'd throw this out there because somebody out there might have a broken eyepiece or broken wires or some other thing and perhaps they can get some assistance out of this video. At least I hope so. Um, it's back together and I'm pretty happy. Uh, speeds seem accurate. Um, this was a little tricky. Getting the the ISO to work properly was a little tricky. The parts are tiny, like everything else, uh, and you need a, a little bit of lift on this outer ring. Also, I think in one of my videos, I showed me loosening the the screws on this knurled ring, the outer ring, uh, there's three screws, you don't have to do that. I discovered that after the fact, after doing this several times, once you take this, where's my pointer, this screw out, the rest of it comes apart. So the screws that are inside here, you don't have to mess with. Um, but it takes a little bit of finagling to get those, let's see, you probably don't really need to see this. I'm going to show, show you anyhow, just in case there's somebody out there. Uh, you've got, you've got your, I'll do it over here. Got your base. Got the spring. You have, not that thing. Your ASA or ISO here in the 20th, 21st century. Uh, ISO ring. And over that goes another doodad. This one here. That goes over that. And if you can see, it's a it's a gut. It goes onto a, a sided shaft. I don't know what they're called, but it's got a flat side on either side, so it go, only goes on perfectly or 180 degrees off. Uh, the manual says when you're going to take these apart, set it to B, bulb. 
Now, the tricky part with these is this thing has to flex like that. And it took several tries for me to get this thing back on it. It does every time. Uh, it takes a few tries to get this thing back on there so it's as it should be in its correct position and has that little bit of up and down motion so you can change your ISO. Also, these on this particular SP, uh, this has a three part doodad. Well, this isn't really it, but whatever. Uh, it's got a flat washer on the bottom, it's got a wavy washer, it's got uh, this ring that has your pan chrome empty color designations on it, and it's got an inner ring. Uh, that has two two points in it for a tool to unscrew that thing. That's a uh, clockwise thread. On a good day, that's only a headache to get together because they're it's got maybe a millimeter of of uh, threaded two millimeters of threaded area that has to go down kind of almost flush with the surface of the camera top. So it, it's tricky and, it, and it's not convenient but you know we muddle through and the rest of it uh, take lots of pictures make notes if you have to I like pics uh, uh, this has not had its light seals checked but this is just a project so <clears throat> until next time later